Hi, this is Pam with Trade Edge Coding, and in this tutorial I'll be explaining the settings for the Support and Resistance Profile Indicator, which is available for both Thinkorswim and TradeStation. I'll be using the Thinkorswim version in this video, but the TradeStation version is pretty much the same. This indicator is based on the idea that the more often the price hits a support or resistance level, the stronger that level becomes. The indicator plots a histogram that represents how often a particular price level has acted as support or resistance in the past. The more often price bounced or reversed off a level, the longer that histogram bar becomes. This doesn't tell you how large the bounces off these levels are, but how many bounces there were. When using this indicator, it's a good idea to give it a lot of data to work with. You can see here, I have five years of data on this daily chart in order to see as many bounces off the support and resistance levels as possible. If I only had one year, that might not be enough data to give me useful information. This indicator is extremely customizable, as I'll show you in the settings. The first setting here is the pivot length. This is the number of bars to the left and to the right of a pivot. So using a low number like 3 means this is looking at pretty small reversals. But the benefit of that is that, that it gives us a lot more data to work with. But if we only wanted to look at more significant reversals, we could increase this number. You can see that the profile is showing in the expansion area on the right, but you can also overlay it over the chart by changing on expansion to no like this. And down here, you can change the opacity. This is on a scale from 0 to 100. 0 would be completely transparent, while 100 is completely solid, but it's harder to see the candles. I like to put it at around 30, so you can easily see the histogram and the candles. This line here is the point of control which is the level with the longest histogram bar. That means that this level has acted as support or resistance more often than all the other levels on the chart. The show POC input just toggles whether or not you can see this line. The time per profile controls how much data is included in the profile and how often the histogram resets. By default, it uses all the data on the chart, but you can change it to reset and only use the data for one of these time frames. For example, if I change this to year, you'll now see that there is a new histogram at the start of each year. So this tells me how often these levels have been support or resistance year to date. You might have noticed that this profile doesn't distinguish between support and resistance. It just shows one histogram for both. That's because we have it set to combine support and resistance into one profile. However, if we change this to no, it will show a separate histogram for support and resistance like this. The green histogram is for support and the red histogram is for resistance. You can change the color of the profiles down here in the global section of the settings. So that is the support and resistance profile for Thinkorswim. As I mentioned, this is also available for TradeStation. You can download this indicator at tradeedgecoding.com. Please let us know if you have any questions about this, and thanks for watching.